Long ago, in a time before the Civil War, in the 17th century, 1848, there would be a man, not one who did great things, or one who did horrendous things, but one who became a miracle in the world of neurology. This man was Phineas Gage. Phineas was a typical man. He had a well-paying job as a railroad foreman, a loving wife, great friends, and unawares of what was to come. Let's glimpse back to September 13th, 1848. Phineas, darling. Hello, wife. How are you this morning? Great, are you ready for work? I certainly am. Wish me luck. Stay safe, honey. Don't worry about me. I love you. Bye, Phineas. And so, she waved her husband off to work on that fateful day of September 13th, with little knowledge of what was to come. Why, good morning, fellow worker. How are you doing today? Aw, uh, hey, Phineas. I'm doing great. How about you? We gotta blow through this boulder over here so we can get the railroad going. We do? Well, it just so happens I've brought my tamping iron. How fortunate. Excuse me, Phineas. Just gotta put it in right here. And just get it, get it in there we go. Oh no, we didn't put enough sand in. The tamping iron hit the rock and ignited the dynamite. What's gonna happen? Oh my goodness, I wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> ah! Bam. Phineas, 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 what's going on? Oh my God, we've got to get you to Dr. Harlow. Well, what have we got here? Thank goodness I've safely removed the tamping iron. This man shall live. The tamping iron, which was three feet seven inches long, weighing 13.5 pounds and was an inch and a quarter in diameter, first impacted under the zygomatic arch and continued through his orbital bone. It crushed through Gage's anterior frontal cortex and white matter, damaging both, but mostly his left frontal lobe of his cerebrum. I'm not entirely certain the triangular exit wound of his tempora will fully heal, but will remain under my supervision until I can state he is 100% healthy. Thank you, Dr. Harlow, for all you've done for me. You're a miracle in the world of neurology, Phineas. Thank you. This railroad ain't gonna fix itself. Oh my god, Phineas, what's your problem? Good god! Come on! Get out of here! He's no longer Gage! Hey! So, Phineas, you finally returned to your old mother, have you? I have, Mother. I'm glad you allowed me to work on your farm with your horses. No problem, son. It's my pleasure. I'm glad you could come. Oh, Phineas, my son. I love you. And so Phineas worked on the farm with his mother, grooming the horses and working with them, until one terrible day when he began to have a seizure due to the tamping iron plunging into his brain. Phineas, his mother called out. But it was too late. Phineas Gage had died. <laughs>